Here they are for the eighth raise, third division of the Tompkins Gear Stake for two-year-old Colton Gilding Trotters, sponsored by Steeplechase Village Affordable Rentals. One is Mystical Foil, owned by Mystical Marker Farms, Wright Hood and Hood, Dirk Simpson Trains and Drives. Two is Crown Region, owned by Serendipity Stable, Ken Shan, the trainer, Roger Plant Jr. aboard. Three is Hand Over the Axe Max, owned by Jim Wheeler, trained by Kurt Sugg and driven by Jeff Fount. The four is My Jericho's King, owned by Dale Persley, trained by Wes Hirschberger with Jamie Dunlap. Five, Striking Gator, owned by Tish and Kevin Cross, Steve Cross trains, Dave Hawk aboard. Six, Tequila Daddy, owned by Richardson Racing Stable, trained and driven by Dick Richardson. And seven is Corian Stable's Striking A's, trained by Ken Sherman with Brett Miller aboard. Post time is in five minutes, just five. The eighth race field lined up in the backstretch, and there they go. And they're off. Ostride the three, hand over the Axe Max. It's my Jericho's King trotting out to take command. Striking Gator also left well as Crown Region settles away in third position. Striking Ace, the late lever on the outside fourth. Gap of two to Mystical Foil, followed by Tequila Daddy. And far back after the break, hand over the Axe Max. Rolling to the head of the stretch, and Dave Hawk rolls into the lead with Striking Gator. Leads it by a length and a half. Striking Ace is up on the outside and quickly back to third at the rail, My Jericho's King. The quarter up in a moderate 30 seconds flat, passing the stands for the first time. It's Striking Gator with an early challenge from Striking Ace on the outside. They're paired up, opening up two lengths on My Jericho's King in third. A span of three more to Crown Regent, followed by Mystical Foil. Another three and a half to Tequila Daddy, and far back but back trotting, hand over the Axe Max. Rounding the turn on their way to halftime. And still leading the way, it's Striking Gator. Striking Gator forces Striking Ace into the pocket, the half in 59 and 3. First over, gaining ground rapidly is Crown Region on the outside third, followed by My Jericho's King, who remains at the rail, racing in fourth position. Mystical Foil is gaining ground, though gap in cover in fifth. Two back to Tequila Daddy in sixth, and much further back to Hand Over the Axe Max. Five sixteenths of a mile remaining as they head for the far turn. It's Striking Gator, three parts of a length. Pressed from the outside by Crown Region in second. Striking Ace along the rail is re-rallying in third. Followed by Mystical Foil, who comes into the action fourth. And My Jericho's King is fifth and one, 29 and three. Moving around to the head of the stretch. It's Striking Gator a half length in front. Crown Region is still closing in. Striking Ace looks to tip down to the passing lane. Followed by Mystical Foil and My Jericho's King. And they're in the stretch. All chasing Striking Gator through the final 16th. Late trot, Striking Ace. Crown Region is fading. And Striking Gator is turning it on late. Striking Gator goes on to score by just about two over Striking Ace and Crown Region in the third division, 159-3. of the Tompkins Gears two-year-old Colt Trot and 159-3. and three. Striking Gator is a two-year-old black colt by Striking Sabra. Out of Toke by Christus Crown or by Tish and Kevin Cross of Macedonia, Ohio. Steve Cross, the winning conditioner, and Dave Hawk is the winning driver with two wins tonight. Dave Hawk scores with Striking Gator in 159-3. and three. Again, this evening's Grand Circuit Racing, sponsored by Steeplechase Village Affordable Luxury Rentals. 5-7 exact at $26.60 in the trifecta 5-7-2, 73-60.